It's not here to stop for unless you in the drugs. There's nothing else, or you got somebody in the neighborhood that's been living around here. But other than that, there's nothing else around here. Nothing. I'm under the opinion that those under 19 will not make it to 50. They don't care if they die. They don't care if they go to jail. I mean, you get more respect for coming out of jail than finishing school. These kids are born into the crime. They're living it every day. Every aspect of their lives is touched by it. From the media, which enhances it, to the street. The street is alive with this. These people are not foolish. They sense what is the truth, that, that the economy of this country has passed them by, that West Baltimore is, is uh, as isolated as, as some sort of third world country when it comes to genuine economic imperative, and that the only thing that still works on these corners is the sale and the use of drugs. Put it back there. Yes. A drug top. Where? Okay, what do we do when we see a drug top? First thing you did was right. You called me and told me. Ella, Ella Thompson is uh, more than Christian, and I mean that in the best sense. Uh, she has given to this neighborhood long after uh, the idea of giving to this neighborhood would seem ridiculous to most people. We get some gloves and get it up and put it in place. Right. Do we ever touch it with our hands? No. no. Okay. She has to live on small victories. She can't look towards touching lives and have them uh, immediately transform themselves. She only has those kids at the rec center, even when she was the full-time head of the rec center, she only had them three hours on a weekday. Um, then they went back to the same nightmare. I keep myself straight because I cannot tell them, you know, to do something and I'm not doing it myself. So um, every time I'm in their presence, I always try to reemphasize something positive to them, you know. Let's just give them a hug. Look, it's out of the look. All right, that has a long route. I love the challenge because I know that I can win, and I know they can win. These kids need a chance, they deserve a chance to win, and they want that chance. Now, if these kids didn't want that chance, I don't think I would be down here, but I know they want it. They tell me, I see it in their faces, so, um, you know, I know they want to win, and I do believe they can. You've got kids basically raising themselves, and for them, Ella may be the only socializing influence in their lives on a day-to-day -day basis, or, you know, the handful of people who are like her. I think, I can't think of one who's truly like her. Um, in the suburbs, uh, I think you've got a whole support network for children, and, and uh, the idea of Anella is not so implausible, um, but down here she's, she's isolated and she's rare, and, and the kids very much respond to that. The biggest challenge for this community to help get it straightened out is to get positive people in here. Really, for one thing, they're trying to close the recreation centers, they're trying to close the libraries, and the kids don't have any place to go. We're running a Holocaust in slow motion here. It's been going on since the, the 60s, maybe, in the cities, and it's just grinding and grinding and grinding. And we're losing generation after generation, and they're getting farther and farther apart. And at some point, because they feed off the larger system for their drugs, at some point, the larger society is going to get fed up with it. And then what do we do? The corner's thriving. The corner is bigger now than it ever was. It's taking in recruits constantly. And if, if our economy ever dips even slightly, I mean, the numbers will swell. Because a corner can take as many people as you throw at it. As many people as you don't want in this society, the corner will take them. Yes, but I'm pushing right back, harder than they are. And so you just keep on pushing, and eventually they will get the message. And I'm not going to let them have the kids. I'm not going to let them have them. And you I know I'm not going to let y'all go out to the streets. I'm not going to let you go. I'm going to be always there for you if I'm here, if I'm not here. Some of you, most of you have my phone, call me at home, and uh, I will be here to answer any questions that you all might have. You want to talk to me about anything, I'll be right here. I believe okay. that this generation can be the ones to break that cycle because they can see what it did to their grandparents and their parents. And 
they need to know that they do not have to go that route. I want hugs for my baby. If I can get one of two of the ten out, now I think I've done something, you know. I think I made a difference. Come on, children, children. And maybe those two that I got can come and get the other eight. See now, don't that little part look better that we did?